Hey, this is Jamison Van Ness with Artisan Real Estate Group. We're here at another one of our rehabs in process. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about it today. We bought this at trustee sale a week ago for $233,000. And uh, we're almost finished wrapping it up. This is actually in South Chandler, extremely hot area. Uh, has a three-car garage, has a pool, has a lot of mature landscaping and mature palm trees, things that we like to look for now. Give you a little tour and show what you pick. Show you what we picked up. We think we can probably uh, get out of this at about 300, and we're probably going to have about 7,000 rehab. So it should be a real nice prop for the investor to follow me in, and we'll give you a quick tour, give you the lay of the land. Had some real nice uh, front yard landscaping to work with. Got some nice contours, big boulders. Got a lot of riprap in here that uh, just adds a lot of texture to the front yard, makes it very appealing to people. When you walk in, first thing you'll notice is you got all this uh, stone veneer, uh, just dresses up the entry of the house. Nice big high entry. And as soon as you get inside, lots of tile. Uh, and this is actually a really nice tile. It's got some pits in it and uh, gives it a little texture so when you come in it's not just a shiny porcelain. House has some other features that we really like. Crown molding going around here, dresses up the house. Uh, all of the walkways have tile. We'll start over on this side here and we'll show you what we did. Of course we did our two-tone paint like we always do. Tile was actually in this house so that was an added bonus. Uh, and actually the light fixtures are pretty nice so we're not going to change those. Um, over here is the kitchen, so if you want to come through this way, we'll show you what we got to work with. House had uh, granite, so we didn't have to buy granite, which is nice, save us a little money there. They had done all this really nice stone work, almost a slate looking stone. Uh, the backsplash is that, we have it all the way up above. And then of course over on this side where this bank of cabinets is, they've done it floor to ceiling as well. Um, had a nice uh, cherry cabinet with a brown stain on it and uh, already had all the knobs on it. So that was uh, added feature. A lot of things that we already do in houses when we buy them, if they don't have it, this one came with. So just means more money for the investor. Actually allowed us to bid a little bit stronger on it because we didn't have to put those things in. And as you can see, throughout the house here, continues on once again. All of the areas that we would normally put tile in have tile. And uh, we'll see, it saves us money. We don't have to do those things. Some of the other things we like, we got some nice arches to work with, uh, peeling for the eye. This particular one had a uh, microwave. We just added the uh, stainless steel stove and stainless steel dishwasher. So, allows us to be a little more competitive once again in the auction because we already had that in. Now, if we come down the hall here, this house actually. Uh, was set up with a master, one bedroom, and then this bedroom and the one right behind it were actually one big open room. Uh, they had set it up as a entertainment room, workout room, but for this market we really need a four bedroom with a den instead of a three bedroom with a den. So what we did was we uh, framed in a wall, framed in a closet, and we broke it off into two separate rooms now. So if someone's got a lot of children and they need more space, they're covered. Half bath, we have a uh, full bath over here. So you got another full bath, double sinks, shower, uh, and the kids that are living here we can split that space between the two of them. House already had cherry blinds in it, which was a nice feature. Some extra storage here in the hallway with some nice cabinets. And then in the front here, we have a bedroom. And then here's the second side of that open space where we have uh, added this other bedroom and then this one has some has double closets in it so um, it's definitely going to be a, a contributing factor to this when we go to sell it people like the larger bedrooms so that actually some chrome hardware on it typically we paint that and change everything to oil run bronze but it is uh it looks pretty good so in this case we left it and it just adds more profit to the bottom line so these houses are puzzles sometimes and you have to work with what you got. And as long as it's not gold or brass and really entry level, we'll usually try to work with it. Right here we've got uh, the den. This had a uh, really poorly done pergo. It was a 
black pergo, so we rip that out, put in the carpet there in the den, make it look a little nicer. In here we got a really nice big laundry area, entry medallion for the master, adds a little flair. Can't take credit for that, obviously that was already here with the flooring, but um, we'll certainly build on it. And they did more crown molding. There's crown molding in every room in this house, and uh, you don't see that very often. That's a nice touch. If we were to put that in ourselves, it'd probably be about a buck a foot to install that. So that's a nice little added feature to help us out. In here, once again, we've got the cherry blinds. We've got the Berber carpet. We added that. Two tone paint. The master has some neat uh, things going for it. Obviously, we got the nice cabinets that we had that were in the uh, the kitchen, um, but we got some copper sinks, all been hammered, hammered copper sinks, oil rub bronze, oil rub bronze lighting. We have a couple of mirrors that we'll be installing here, and this whole uh, setup is pretty much oil rub bronze. And interestingly enough, they used a Saint Cecilia uh, in here for the countertops, which is what we typically put into our houses on the kitchens. And then a large walk-in. The shower actually has some rain glass block and um, they did travertine on the walls and on the floors uh, with some nice inlays and uh, that's a nice added touch to it as well. So, A lot of nice features in this house that we didn't have to pay for. Pretty, uh, pretty simple rehab from the standpoint of what we normally do. We're going to walk outside here. I want to show you what we got because this was a big selling feature for us. One of the things that we really liked. Like the exit from the master outside. You'll notice out here they did uh, the travertine like we do in a lot of the houses. A four piece travertine from the patio. Covered it in that. So that's a nice little feature there. And once again, if you look across, the uh, backyard, we got palm trees everywhere, uh, which is, people just love that. A very large pool, nice rock water feature. This area here actually had a putting green. We actually, they'd taken it when they left, so we replaced it with actually real grass. We've got a little barbecue area over here, and we'll be replacing the grill and the door that they took. A little fire pit. And it's lots of, uh, it's just lots of, it just feels real good out here when you walk through the area. Over here was a nice uh, dog run that they had installed. And we chose to leave it because it was done so good. You can see here on the side of the house, they actually uh, put the stone veneer and roof tile on the doggy door entrance to the house. And then we, uh, we added in a nice little area of grass for someone if they want to have a pet. Living the life of luxury out here. So this house we picked up at auction for about two hundred and thirty-three thousand. We're thinking we're probably going to get in the three hundred range on it. Not going to have a whole lot involved in the rehab. As you can see, it's got a lot of nice features to it: palm trees, grass, very inviting. The waterfall once it gets going. We'll have no problem selling this. Chandler's a very hot market, and uh, our investors should do very well on this. So, once again, these are the type of deals we're picking up. Today's August 20th, 2011. Um, we consistently manage to do, pick up deals. We've been doing it for several years here in the Phoenix market. And if you're looking to get in the Phoenix market and buy uh, properties for buy and hold or fix and flip, uh, give us a call. This is Jameson from Artisan Real Estate Group. We'll catch up next time. Thanks.